And so, ladies and gentlemen, this evening we thought we'd take the opportunity to pull up a couple of people that are doing this properly to chat to you about the things that you're already thinking in your head. We know what they are. We've been doing this long enough to know what the response to our system is. And we want to quickly address it with you. We're going to do it quite quickly tonight. So you're going to have to hold on tight as we run through it. And I hope that at the end I've settled your minds on what we're actually doing here tonight. So, we know that the first question that generally comes up when I do this presentation, when Rob does this presentation, is this. All right, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? And that's what you're thinking. Well, how did he guess that? Oh, even when I do the slide that says, folks, this is not a pyramid scheme. Uh, we have eight regulators that look after us. People still go, no, it's a pyramid scheme. I had once a lady who came up to me and said, no, no, no. Um, you are a pyramid scheme. And I said, no, we're not a pyramid scheme. It's actually legislated. She said, no, 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 I'm not saying you're an illegal pyramid scheme. I'm just saying you're a pyramid scheme. So you can't be a legal pyramid scheme. <laughs> so anyway, this evening, Patrick, come up on stage for me. Patrick's going to quickly address this with you. Patrick, you're stuck in an elevator with one of our guests this evening. You've got 60 seconds to answer this objection for Dewpoint and go. Come stand over here for me right there. Great. Go for it, Patrick. Talk right into that microphone if you can. <laughs> Talking to them, go for it. Uh, Brandon, uh, I don't think Stu Point is a pyramid scheme, scheme because even as you enter there, you can see the building, you can see the, the, the owner of Stu Point, they here, not like those we, you, you, were, you were in. This one is a, is a different one. And uh, most of those people doing pyramid scheme, they got so much anger. Let me just warn you. If you're talking to them, don't close the door because they might end up killing you. Like one of them, I was just talking to him, he was telling me about this pyramid scheme thing. Uh, <clears throat> when I asked, where's the owner of this, uh, of, of, of this business? He said to me, why do you want to know the, the owner? And I said, okay, that's fine, because I was feeling scared. Then I said to him, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, where's the office? So if anything goes wrong, where can go and complain? He said, "Why you you, you want money or you want the, the office?" <laughs> so it was like, just like that. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Patrick. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's awesome. All right, Le the pyramid scheme incidentally is legislated. There's a definition for it. Read the definition. You'll see that we are not a pyramid scheme. Generally, basic rule of thumb, pyramid scheme says you can't leave the building until you put money in. You get nothing for your money. You put it in. Fi put 30 grand in. Go find five other people to put 30 grand in. I'll give you 60 grand back. That is a pyramid scheme. You will notice at your point we will ask for none of your money this evening. And any product you take with us is a properly contracted, regulated financial service product. This is not a pyramid scheme. You can rest about that. Mike, we're up with the next one. I don't have the time. We've got a big club of that here at your point, don't we? 60 seconds, go. Yeah, well, if you haven't got the time, obviously you value time because it is important to you. So you will really love this business because in this business, you buy back the time. If you start the business small with a couple of friends and family, you are actually getting together a team and we are working together as a team to build an asset, not for an income, but to build an asset which creates an income. And once your team starts expanding, your income will expand, your business grows bigger, the value of your asset grows bigger, your income expands. And in that way, you can buy back the time. When I started this business, I thought as well, I didn't have the time. I've got a, I've got a job, I've got a business. It keeps me busy 24-7. I've got to be available to my clients 24-7. But when I saw the value, when I really looked at this business and I saw the value of it, I went and I broke down my waking day, that is from half past four in the morning till 10 o'clock at night into half hour segments. And I actually wrote down over a couple of days, every half hour, what I had done the previous half hour. And then I realized there was a lot of time, not necessarily wasted, but I could do things differently. And I rescheduled my day, I spent those days better, and today I can say, thank you, Lord, I've got an income, a steady income, which is making a difference to our cash flow monthly. Mm. 
Thank you, Mark. Do not feel special if you feel like you don't have time. You are part of a complete club here. Every single person here has no time. The objective of due point is to get that time back for you. So do not use that as an excuse ever. So, oh, I don't have time. That means you want to remain poor. That's all it means. This is a time where we've got to take our spare time and convert it so that one day our time is back. Sowing in and reaping out. That's what we do at due point. Reynolds, you're up next. I've already got a good job and a career. You've got a good job and a good career, don't you? Why are you here? <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Eat that microphone. <laughs> right up there. there <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so I've real one thing that I've realized in life, okay, no matter how much money you can earn, your bills will match your salary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so either way, we also need extra, we also need extra income you know, to do our luxuries and everything. And if I remember very well, at some point, um, our salary, we, we were now spending more than what we were earning. Spending more than what we were earning. And we didn't have any, any how to sustain the other bills mm -hmm. because we were not earning enough. But I mean, thank God we now have due point. Uh, we, you can double your income. You mm -hmm. have no limit with your income. You can do whatever. You can work as much as you want, and you have control of your income. Fantastic. Thank you, Reynold. <laughs> a good career right now means nothing in South Africa. In fact, it means nothing anywhere in the world right now. Tomorrow, your great career could end. It could end. We're in a shrinking economy, which means there are less jobs every year. And that can only be the case if people are losing their jobs. The market is getting smaller. We have to realize we cannot place security in that anymore. The question I've asked before in presentations is, what is your backup plan? Right now, tomorrow, your job is gone. How long can you survive? How long? Uh, you've heard the statement before. It's not unique to me. I've heard it too. It's a great statement. It says, dig the well before you need it. Dig the well of water before you need it. Have you got a backup plan? That's what we're talking about here at Dew Point. Nick. Hold on to your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Nick, <laughs> network marketing is embarrassing. I'm glad you wore your pink shirt. So, Take it away. So it goes from embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. No, no, I'm only kidding. Um, so what, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I normally say to people if they say that it's, um, that it's embarrassing is that um, it is embarrassing if you don't have the right answers. It is embarrassing if you, you decide that you're going to be a part of something and then you... You, you try and do it without the proper training. Um, if you try and do it without the right knowledge, um, it's like me asking anybody in this audience to get up and do a talk on husbandry. Most of the women will go, well, it's what my husband doesn't do. Because we don't know about it. But the, the great thing about G-Point is there's training available. Um, we get empowered. We've got a great bunch of uh, leaders, uh, excellent team that is here, nothing to be embarrassed about, something to be incredibly proud of. Thank um, you. And that would be it. Thank you, Nick. Sure. Great. What's more embarrassing? Not being able to pay your kid's school education because you've just lost your job. Not being able to pay for your kid to go to university. Not being able to pay your own medical bills. Not being able to bear, bury your mother when she passes away. What's more embarrassing than spending a bit of time saying, guys, do you need extra income? Yes, click play. Because that's how embarrassing this business is. You click play. It's not embarrassing. It's a stigma of things like what collapsed last week that has put onto this industry. It is not embarrassing when you're dealing with the right components here at Dew Point. All right. Then we've got Denzel. Denzel, I am not good at selling. This one always frustrates me. <laughs> huh? I'm not good at selling. Let's just make sure this is on. Yes, it is. Go for it. Indeed, folk. First and foremost, talking about embarrassing, if you start selling, you'll embarrass yourself. Mm -hmm. So stay away from selling. Mm -hmm. We've heard it. Our task and our function is to call. Connect. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. Connect. Connect. And right. how do you connect? People that's around you, your inner circle, people that you know by first name. You tell them about this great and wonderful opportunity. And there are four ways, isn't it? So firstly, we are here this evening. This is the live audience. Then we is live stream. He sits in his London. Send him the link. He checks it out. You follow up. You got a new partner in your business. Thirdly, YouTube. Mm -hmm. The actual platform for our business. And fourthly, 
the little stick at 170 rand if you don't want to use data and that's the simplicity of it all mm -hmm. so please do not go and sell however i want to say at the end walala wasala mm -hmm. if you snooze you lose <laughs> In this business, we contract you out of selling. You are not regulated. You haven't written the regulatory exams. You're not FSPs. You are not allowed to sell our products. We tell you not to put them on Facebook, not to put them on your social media, because that's not your task. Our task is to sell. And what it means is that it doesn't matter what your personality is. It doesn't matter what you look like. Everybody can succeed at this business. And you'll be amazed at the range of personalities that are succeeding at two point. We've got Nick who's flamboyant in his pink shirt. And then we've got, where's Soso -so tonight? Soso, -so, she's this big, you'd never even see her. She's so quiet and so on. Succeeding in this business. Your personality does not dictate your success here. It is how badly you want to change your future. That's the only thing that dictates your outcome there. Right, now we've got Jack. Jack, yes, Jack's up. The products are not good enough. There we go, Jack. Good evening, everyone. Um, firstly, let me just say, you know, uh, well, I want to just say, state this thing, that uh, we are not here for the product. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to tell yourself that whatever reason it brings you here, it's only one reason, to make up an extra income. So forget about the, the uh, products. They are not yours. They are Dewpoint's uh, uh, products. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to know about the products, the Dewpoint will have to answer for that. Mm -hmm. And one thing more I like about these products, even if the people say, yeah, the products are not good and whatever. These products are specifically designed for each and everyone who is in here. They are not only for special people because, like as Brendan has already said, you know, we don't have any uh, condi special conditions for this. Each and everyone besides your age, as long as you are above 18, you can take them. But now, the other thing is that uh, I always say to, the, to, to people about the products, they are very much more, you know, because they are the vehicle to take you into the business. So if you take the product, it's only the high kill of getting you inside the business. Mm -hmm. It's not we, not, we didn't come here for the products. We're only here to make money. And the products are the vehicle to the business. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Jack's absolutely right. From our side, we spent months developing these products. And people go, no, they don't cover me for illness, so they're useless. No. Our products have been specifically designed for what we do here at Dewpoint, but also if you take our products and compare them to what's happening in the market product to product, I promise you, you'll find ours are the best priced and have the best benefits. This is what we do the best at Constantia Dewpoint. So it's not an excuse this evening. All right, Pumi, these businesses come and go like we saw last week. <laughs> right, come up here. There we go. Pumi, tell them about these businesses. <laughs> okay, guys, um, this business comes and go. Um, with Dewpoint, one thing that I like about it, we've got a security. Dewpoint is a division of Constantia Insurance, which it has been there over 70 years. That itself, it gives you security. Yes, um, uh, yes, these things, they come and go. I'm not sure whether it's a thing with Dewpoint because it pays my bills. Mm -hmm. So even if it can come, it can go. Uh, who, I mean... I don't think that I would have lost anything. In fact, I would have gained so much. So uh, who's gonna leave? Who's gonna lose? It's Brandon mm -hmm. because <laughs> he has spent so much just only on technology itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, um, circumstances they do happen. Eh? A lot of you right now they're so angry because they can't eat poloni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Because enterprise as a company, you know what happened. You see, that is a circumstance that happened. It is something that is beyond them. That mm -hmm. they the same with your point. We cannot guarantee anyone. But one thing what that we can guarantee you that if you do your point and you do it the your point way, you're going to make money with your point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For me. Thank you. That's absolutely true. We've said it right from when we launched your point. Your worst case scenario at your point is for a while you were making money. That's your worst case scenario. Because we don't ask for any money in, like these other things do, you don't start in a negative position that you have to recover on. With us, you start positive from day one. That's your worst case scenario with us. So we don't intend on going anywhere, but even if we did, you would not lose in the Dewpoint system. And there we go. This is for the desperate and the poor. <laughs> hey, Rulof, come and tell us about how desperate and poor you are. There Absolutely. We go. Evening. 
Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm blessed. I've been around for 63 years. I've been an employee. Uh, I've been self-employed. Uh, I'm an employer. Uh, and I know network marketing. And I've met desperate people everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're all over. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean when you meet desperate people somewhere that it's a bad thing that they're doing. They come and go. You, you can't get away from them. But what I found is actually within the network, I don't call them desperate because if you look at them, they're absolutely determined. They're mm -hmm. determined to create a better future. They're determined to actually be a better provider for their family and to make sure that they have that financial security that one day they're not going to be a burden to anyone. Okay, and being poor, to me, poor people are people that are like this. They don't look at anything. You know the old adage, uh, passing over opportunities regularly. They just accept whatever life hands out to them. They roll over and play dead. Uh, to me, people in, in this business, these are people that are proactive. They want a better life. And I would love to, oh, I enjoy being associated with them. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Rolof. In fact, what we say, what we say is that we're looking for entrepreneurs here. We want people who, if it were not for their circumstances, would be ragingly successful. And we are going to change their circumstances here so that they can be ragingly successful. We're looking for people who are on fire for change in their own personal circumstances, not desperate and poor people. This is for entrepreneurs. And then, I don't know enough people. Rambi, <laughs> I don't know enough people. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> here we go. Evening, everyone. Um, okay, I feel this is just an excuse mm -hmm. because I think the average person has plus plus 200 mm -hmm. names in their phone book. Mm -hmm. So that's already a starting point. You're going to start with those close to you, the people that you know by name. Um, then we, when we look at our daily activities, we do a lot of things. We drop kids at school. We've got parents that we talk to. At work, depending on what you do, you meet clients, you meet people coming in, you people that you do meetings with, those are all people. My favorite thing is nails. Mm -hmm. I can see. I'm just <laughs> dodging them there. And I want to say a special hi to Anna. We met at the nail bar and mm -hmm. she's here tonight. There we go. So everywhere that you go out, it's just a chance for you to meet new people, make new friends and grow in this business mm -hmm. together with everyone. Yeah, Thank brother. you. Thank you, Rami. There we go. Great. If you do any of your training with us, we show you how there is a perpetual list of people that can come in. Not knowing enough people is just not true. Even if you know two other people, that's your start, and we take you from there in this process. All right, then we've got Safiso. I don't think I'm going to succeed with this. I'm special. I won't succeed where others will. Evening. Okay, uh, this, this question I actually get a lot myself, so, and what I like about it is also I was one of those people who actually thought that I'd never succeed in this because I was comfortable in my work. So it actually speaks to people who are always comfortable in say, knowing and being proficient at what they're doing. But what I've realized is, as a person, if you're going to live a, in a comfort zone, then you're never going to grow. As much as you might be a specialist at whatever you're doing, always challenge yourself and say, you know what? Let me give this a try. And that what I love mostly about Dewpoint, because uh, it's not my first network company that I've actually joined, is one of the things is you don't have to do much. Just connect the people. They do everything for you. They've actually contacted you out of actually doing their work. So if you're someone who always says, I don't have time, I'm lazy, or whatever, I will not that we want lazy people. What I'm saying, just be proactive in connecting people. That's all that you have to do. And then there's four ways you can connect the guys. So get out, uh, I want to actually encourage people, they must get out of their comfort zone. Comfort zone is killing a lot of people. And at you point, I mean, this is the, it's the most beautiful company I've ever seen in terms of network marketing because you don't have to hire any venues. You don't have to be a, a special presenter. There's no fear of actually presenting to people. There's no, there's no selling. So you don't even have to, you do have to know the products, but you don't have to actually sell the product or explain the products. All you have to do, connect them. If they've got questions, there's tools, there's training, there's tools, there's so, so many things. You can, there's so, many, so much tools available for, for people to actually succeed in due point. All that they are fearing is, is ge actually getting out of their comfort zone. So if they can just learn to get out of their comfort zone and say, you know what, as a person, I need to keep learning, I need to keep growing. And also one, one last thing is, before you actually especially said what you were doing, you had to do an induction. You knew nothing, you had to come do an induction. 
you, you, you had to actually get in-house training. You actually had to learn from the people that are already doing what you are doing. Same thing here at your point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.